This has to be one of the largest wild cattle in the world. It's a wild Indian goa. And it's absolutely huge. It must be about a ton in weight. Every now and then it looks at me as it's doing right now and it breathes very heavily. He seems quite content just grazing in the gardens and the grass around here. <laughs> but if I get any closer he might get really annoyed so I'm going to be very careful. You can tell this is a male because it's got that really big prominent ridge on its back and that really adds to its intimidating and powerful appearance. The females are much smaller than the males and they can be up to half the size and they're usually much lighter in colour. They have about one calf every year and this one's having a bit of a tussle with hers. She's probably teaching it how to use those formidable weapons. But I've got no idea how they stop themselves from poking each other's eyes out. They're trampling through people's gardens and everybody just gets out of their way. There's about three large males around here and over in the distance there's about six females so it's one big herd roaming throughout the forest grazing together. I've been watching the gar for about an hour and they seem pretty preoccupied with just feeding. I don't think they cared who or what was nearby because they knew that nothing could really mess with them. So I was pretty confident that I could get fairly close without them even batting an eyelid. It was a real pleasure to feel the breath of this wondrous animal on my face, but had this been the mating season, or if she had a calf with her, I would have kept a little bit further away, because I don't think she would have tolerated me as much as she did. And I certainly would never try to get that close to one of those big, powerful males. Beautiful, beautiful animals. <laughs>